Hello and welcome to Manifesting Like a Boss. I'm your soul success coach, Shannon Marie, and I'm obsessed with helping women who are tired of playing small, up-level their success through anchoring into their soul self and their dreams and desires and leveraging the law of attraction and really learning how to manifest like a boss for their lives and businesses. So they could be soulfully successful doing what they are meant to do. So again, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited that you are here and I'm so excited to help you manifest like a boss everything that you're dreaming of and desiring. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and start a little bit, a little bit about me and my manifesting journey. And then I'm going to dive right into my top three things that you have to do in order to manifest like a boss. So my journey started about eight years ago. At the time, I was in corporate America, and I really loved my job. I loved what I did, but I felt really unaligned with where I was and the life that I was living. So I started a direct sales business, and what I really loved about the direct sales is I was really looking for the opportunity to be financially free and have the time freedom. And in that journey, I really was able to learn a lot about myself and the things that I was dreaming of and the things that I was desiring that I for so long shoved down because I didn't think that it was possible for me. So during this journey, I, there was a lot of buzz about the movie, The Secret. So I watched the movie and I was so super excited. And what started to happen inside of me was really a cool experience, this burning and ignition of dreams and desires, things that I could no longer allow myself to play small in, to self-sabotage, to stay stuck in the same patterns and beliefs, um, started to change for me. Because what I started to see is what was actually really possible for myself and for my journey with my next level. So over, um, the next couple of weeks, I started to take action. I was really excited after watching the movie, The Secret, and I wrote out a check to myself for $100,000 and signed it from the universe. And I remember creating a vision board and putting a bunch of stuff on there that I wanted and that I knew my daughter at the time was um, little wanted and what my husband wanted and what we kind of all wanted together. What did we want our life to look like and some of the experiences we wanted to experience? And I remember checking the mailbox every day for like the next three months. And I remember starting to feel really defeated because when I would check the mail, I would actually started to get some unexpected bills. I started to receive things that didn't feel in my highest alignment with manifesting. And I started to really panic about the process. And was it true? Could I really manifest it? And I went back into kind of playing small. Um, I went back into not stepping into my power and not really trusting the universe and not trusting the manifesting things. And I think that that's where a lot of us are at this time. And I just want to take a moment and honor you if you're tired of playing small, if you're tired of your self-sabotaging ways and tired of your self sabotaging patterns and beliefs that keep coming up and you're really ready to anchor into your soul self and the things that you're dreaming and desiring, I just welcome you. I'm so excited you're in this space with me and I'm so excited to help you get to this place of being soulfully successful doing what you are meant to do. So here I was and I remember about two days after just having this breakdown, I literally was so excited. I put everything into it. I trusted with everything that I had, but there was those little voices, right? You're not good enough. All of that stuff started coming in where my current reality, I'd open my bank account and I'd be stressed about bills. And the more that I stressed about bills, the more bills came, unexpected bills came, tickets, different things like that, right? And I remember having this meltdown in bed one night. We had this big bill, medical bill that came from my daughter and I wasn't expecting it. And it was about $3,000. I remember just crying, like, really? I want this money so bad. I can smell the freedom that the money and the next level version of myself has to offer. Why? 
And a couple days later, about two days, I received a phone call on the way to work. I was driving to work and I received a phone call and the lady on the other end said, congratulations, you just won $100,000. And I was so excited. I remember the images flashing through my head of all the things I had on that vision board, all the things that I was going to do with the money. I literally could feel the money in my hands. I could smell the money. I could see the money in my purse, right? I could think about all the things that I was going to do with this money to bless the people in my life that at that time really needed it or really experiencing some health battle. And I knew that that would allow them to focus on their health and no longer on the money that they needed to support their journey at that time. And about two minutes into the phone call, I remember realizing and having this deep sinking feeling in my gut when I realized that it was a scam that they just were trying to get my social security number and that they played on my desire to win money and how crazy it was that I won the exact amount, won the exact amount that I had written on that check. And what it actually did for me is it got me so excited to learn more about the laws of attraction and manifesting because what I realized is that I was really good at manifesting, that I could do that, but I needed to learn how to zone in on how to really manifest and not worry about when I had those things that came up and creeped in and those old patterns and beliefs, right? So I started taking courses and learning all that I could learn. And I'm here to tell you on the other side of it, that in the last two years of me focusing on this, I've been able to do some really incredible things. And I'm not sharing these things with you to brag, but to show you what is possible for you as well. So today I sit in the house that I manifested. The home that we manifested exactly down to the, the way the island is the fire pit in the backyard where we spend so many nights bonfiring and barbecuing. The red barn on the property that houses our animals that we love and love spending time with. $250,000 in cash. An all expense dream trip to Maui. A beautiful trip to Walt Disney World and Universal Studios in Florida. So many speaking opportunities, soul aligned clients, relationships, and so, so much more. And again, I don't share this with you because I'm here to brag. I want to share with you what is possible so you can also learn how to manifest like a boss. I believe we're all supposed to be prosperous. We're all supposed to be wealthy in the things that we are desiring. All right, so now that I hopefully have something ignited inside of you and something burning for more, more desires, more dreams, let's dive right into my top three ways to get this manifesting like a boss. So first is I believe that the manifesting superpower is belief. You have to believe that it's possible. That's number one. I've seen this over and over again in myself and in clients. And often my clients will ask me, what do I ask for to get paid as compensation for coaching? And I ask them the question back, well, what do you believe is possible? Because if they don't believe it's possible, I could throw out a huge number. I could throw out a, law, a low number. But if they don't believe it's possible, they're not going to be able to manifest it to be true. So the power is in the belief. Okay, you have to believe that it's possible and you have to believe that the universe can deliver with everything that you believe. <laughs> the other thing that I want to say is when we believe and then all of a sudden we allow doubt to creep in, every single time the doubt will stop what the universe is bringing in. It's like a stop sign, right? 
we're literally putting a stop sign up to the universe and saying, we don't think that you have our back. We're not sure that it's possible, right? We have to believe that it's possible. Number two in manifesting like a boss is being able to ask and be clear in what you ask. So in my manifesting journey, when I first started and I shared with you about the hundred thousand dollars and I realized that I started manifesting those bills into my inbox because I started focusing on the bills more than I did that hundred K more than I did the things that were on my dream board. Right. And when I realized that about myself, I shifted and I started asking and I started being clear on what I was asking for. I started asking for money, right? Money to come. And all of a sudden, I started seeing money appear everywhere, but it was in forms of pennies in very weird places. Even sometimes it was like the universe was trying to get my attention, that it was delivering the money that I was requesting. I started seeing pennies and the window seals. And even one day as I was driving, I remember getting really uncomfortable because there was something in my boot so uncomfortable that I had to stop and pull over at a Walgreens parking lot and and get outside and shake out my boot and out came rolling the penny. And I remember in that very moment, getting that clear sign from the universe, like it always does for us. Here's the money that you're asking for. And what's really beautiful about the universe is when we come to that conclusion that it's not what we were asking for, or that we're wanting bigger, or that we were truly desiring something else, we get to ask again. So in that moment, I asked again, okay, universe, thank you. Thank you for this money. Okay, because the universe doesn't see that a hundred thousand dollars is any different than a penny. It's all energy. And so we have to get really clear on what we're wanting. Are you wanting sales or are you wanting cash? Okay, are you wanting a house or are you wanting a place to stay? Like we got to get really clear in that. The universe doesn't decipher for us. We have to do the part in getting clear and the universe's job is just to deliver. The second thing is in asking is when you ask, you just have to release it to the universe. And that sometimes is the hardest thing. We want to come back in and, and doubt it, right? Well, is it really on our way? And what happens with doubt? Boom, stop. Okay. So be very, very careful of what you are doubting and what you are just trust falling it's like trust falling into the arms of the universe and all of the possibilities that it has to offer the third thing is in asking is acting as if and allowing yourself to rewire your brain in that so just like i was sharing with my house when i was asking for what i wanted with the house i started really getting into scripting and visualizing what would that look like and what would that feel like and as i said before i scripted and visualized right down to what the island looked like in my kitchen. I wanted it to be a place that we could place food and we could gather with my family and friends. And, you know, I would go right into like hearing what the laughter would sound like as we gathered in that space and being around the fire pit and picturing my animals in the barn and all of those things. And so acting as if not because we're faking it until we're making it, because we're rewiring our brain to believe that it's possible. And when we can rewire our brain to believe that it's possible, that strengthens our belief, right? And then we're starting to compile our manifesting muscles. The third thing is, is we have to be radically open to receive the things that we are requesting. We do this through celebrating and being really in tuned with gratitude. We do this by allowing us to say yes to things that come into our space and getting clear when it's not what is in our highest alignment. And then the third thing in receiving is we have to take radical action. If something comes our way and we need to learn to feel into it and really take that action because if we're manifesting, so for instance, I had a client recently that was manifesting a trip to Arizona and all of these things started aligning for her, but that scarcity came up, right? That playing small came up for her and she almost said no to the opportunity, the opportunity to caravan with some other people that she knew that were going and the opportunity to go and stay with somebody that already lived there because it didn't look like exactly how she wanted it to look like. It didn't look like she went there and was able to go into an apartment. And then quickly when we started to, to, to dissect this and how it 
could be in still alignment for her because then she could go and she could find a place to live once she found a job there, then it made sense, right? So we have to take radical action. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited. Please keep in touch with me. I cannot wait to hear what you are able to manifest like a boss. And if you are loving this experience and you want more of it, I invite you to connect with me for a complimentary connection call where we can connect and I can share with you how I can serve you. So that way you can stop playing small and really up level your success through manifesting and connecting at your soul level to your soul self. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to connect further with you.